Hey, what's up fam? It's Black Hippie here, and I thought today would be kind of cool to share with you guys my collection. Um, so we'll go over all the snakes I currently have. Um, however, one of them is in shed right now, so I won't be taking her out, but you know, the rest of them, we'll kind of see how they're doing. So yeah, <laughs> if you're interested, uh, be sure to tap in. Cool fam. So this here is Bowie. Um, he's a boa constrictor imperator, uh, jungle morph specifically. And so jungle morph is just, you know, it's the design that's on his back. You kind of see it on his saddles. Um, yeah, so that's what the jungle morph essentially looks like. Um, there isn't like just like one way, like jungles can have different types of patterns to a different degree. But yeah, you can kind of see how the saddles are all connected and like, like little puzzle pieces jumbled and so yeah, that is the jungle pattern. So Bowie here is about a year old, um, so he still has a lot more growing to do. He is uh, what you call a um, Central American boa, so that's his locality. Um, and so Central Americans, they don't get as big as say Colombians. And so, you know, he's also a male, so him being a male, he's also not gonna get as big as say a female. So oh yeah, here is Bowie. He was my second boa, my third snake that I got. Uh, when I first got him, he didn't look like this at all. He looked very different, um, way more like drab, like a basic plain looking color kind of thing. Um, but yeah, his color has definitely changed a lot. He's just like caramel, kind of like pink hue to him, you know? Um, but yeah, beautiful snake, really cool dude. Um, never had any problems with him. Um, he's pretty chill for the most part. There are times before where he's gotten like a little nervous, but you know, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary or scary or anything like that. You know, he's a great snake. So yeah, this is one of my snakes. Uh, so yeah, this is, like I said, Bowie, Jungle Morph. I feed all my snakes Frozen Thaw, and currently they are currently my boas, him and Kiki. They're bo both currently on, uh, large adult mice and so yeah i feed them about once every 10 to 14 days roughly and yeah so it's been working out well for them if i seem a little bit better for turning out light cool so yeah this here is bowie and so a lot of people always ask me they go like oh like, what snake do you recommend for a first timer um, and honestly, I definitely highly recommend these dudes. These are my favorite species of snakes. Um, and that's just because they're, they get, they reach a decent size, you know, they don't get too big, but they're, you know, it's an impressive size, but definitely manageable. If that makes any sense, you know? So, you know, and they're super docile. So there's really cool. Um, and yeah, so this here is Bowie and I'm about to go put him up and then we're gonna keep it going. All right, fam, so this is my next snake I got. This is uh, Kiki here. She's also a boa constrictor, just like Bowie, Bowie is, but <clears throat> a little bit different. Uh, her morph is what you call albino, but she also has what's called coral. And so coral is like when you got these really cool like patterns on the side. I don't know if the light's gonna show it. There you go. You kind of see that, like that pink hue on her sides. It goes all the way up to her face. And so you can even see it on the side of her face. So. That's kind of like what coraling is. And so you kind of, you know, it's on the, the lesser side, I guess you would say, you know, the lower side. Um, <clears throat> but if you look inside her face, you know, she has like pink, it's like pink, like all on her lips. But yeah, so if you just look at it, it's a regular albino. Like if you go on Google, quick Google search and you look at a regular albino, they're usually like all white, you know, it's like a really white, uh, faint like color you know they don't have as much color as as she does if that makes any sense so she's you know a pretty good looking albino um so yeah she actually was my first boa that i got um i was like super nervous on boas um you know didn't really have much experience with them so this is my first boa that i got and uh yeah so she really you know helped me fall in love with boas um so yeah, she's about a year old now, I'd say, and she's a Colombian, so she's gonna get bigger than Bowie for sure. And also, she's a female, so she's usually, um, it's usually easily noticed, or it's it's common. There you go. It's common for females to be bigger than males. So 
more than likely she's gonna be way bigger than uh, Bowie. So that'll be interesting and fun to see, right? So um, anything fascinating about her? So like I said, she was my first boa that I had and, you know, really this like helped me, I mean, really get over like my fear, you know, irrational fears, you know? Um, and so she also made me want to get into other snakes. And so, um, you know, that's why I ended up getting a Brazilian rainbow boa, which is the other boa that I have. Um, and so I just love boas. Boas are just like, honestly, like my favorite types of snakes. Um, but specifically like BCIs are just like really awesome. They're, they're really cool snakes. Um, I kind of geek out about these guys a little bit, but, um, I also love Brazilian rainbow boas too. They're really cool. Um, mine is in shed right now. So I'll show you guys what she looks like in shed. Um, so you guys can, can see that it's actually pretty intense. They have like the craziest sheds, kind of like little zombies, if you will. So I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. But you guys, one more little look at Kiki here. And she's definitely like already gotten so much bigger. Like my first got her, man, she looked like a little earthworm. Like she was so tiny, but now she's definitely getting bigger. But yeah, so like if I ever um, needed like an ambassador snake, she's definitely the one that like I feel the most comfortable like passing her to somebody else and you know letting somebody else like handle her she's really really good um never had any issues like with her she's never even been like afraid like you know she's just really chill so yeah this is kiki here that's one more little look see how long she is she's so much longer than bowie already and thicker but yeah, these guys do grow slow. I mean, if you feed them correctly, um, if you power feed them, obviously they're gonna, you know, get really big, really quick. Um, it's not wise to do that. It's wise to kind of feed them slowly, right? Or feed them, you know, um, not feed them as much. So a lot of times people overfeed them and that's kind of common in the trade. So, you know, if you're thinking about getting a boa, just, you know, know, or I would say just like make sure you have a good regiment for them. Um, you know, they don't really need to eat as much as other species of snakes, I'd say. Um, but yeah, you do want to give them a healthy meal though. Um, you know, healthy size is what I'm trying to say. And so, yeah, that's that fam. So here is Kiki. You see how long she is? Boom, right, and big. She's only, she's about only a year old too. And like I said, I'm not even power feeding her. So like if I was power feeding her, she'd be crazy big. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go and put her up. So another cool thing I would say with boas, like if you're really, if you wanna get into big snakes, so say if you're trying to get into like retics, uh, Burmese pythons and stuff like that, I would, I would definitely highly recommend maybe starting with a boa first, right? So maybe getting like a female, or you know both that's going to get pretty big in size uh just so that you can kind of get a really good hands-on understanding of how to handle a large body snake and obviously you know these guys don't get nearly as big as a burmese or a reticulated python so that is very true um uh, but great practice if you're trying to get into larger snakes um and yeah so here's kiki and so i'm gonna go put kiki up right now and we're gonna go bring out the next snake goodbye kiki Okay, fam, so this is my last snake I'm showing today. Well, actually, I'm gonna show you guys the Brazilian rainbow boa next. All right, but up next we have here, this is Bubba. This is my ball python. And this was actually my first snake in my collection. And he's actually the oldest right now that I currently have. And I would say he's about like two, going on maybe three years old. Um, and he's really not that long. I would say if, he, if I were to measure him, he's like slightly under three feet. And yeah, he doesn't really want to come out of a ball right now, kind of some, I'm just saying. But yeah, he's about a little under three feet right now. And when I first got him, I was so scared of him because <laughs> he was always trying to bite. <laughs> this dude was not, he was super defensive when I got him, but you know, over time, I just put a lot of time and worked with him. And now he's super chill, you know, he still gets a little nervous, but you know, he's not gonna like, you know, bite or strike or anything like that. He's pretty chill. So yeah, that's that. Um, anything cool, fascinating about you, buddy? Um, yeah, so this was the first thing I added to my collection. And um, yeah, he really made me want to get more snakes. And so it's kind of funny because 
I was I was joining or I joined a lot of groups and I was asking people I was like yo like what what is a great first snake for me to get you know I want to get back into the culture or I, I wanted to get back into owning snakes I had a snake back in college and it was a ball python that I shared with my roommate but long story short I wanted to get back into snakes so I was asking around people I was like yo guys like what what's a cool snake to get back into snake culture and everyone's like ball python ball python i was like ah you know i had one of those before it was all right but you know it wasn't too exciting and it was like oh yeah dude just go ball python and so long story short i went with the ball python and uh yeah most who have ball pythons will tell you uh kind of like the issues that they have with like eating strikes and stuff like that so for me you know i got one ball python and i was happy with just one and yeah, then I got a boa next. And after that, I just honestly been, just been collecting boas. Boas are just, like I said, my favorite. There's nothing wrong with ball pythons. It's just, if I can have, if I had a choice of like, you know, which snake would I have more of, it would definitely be like other snakes than ball pythons. I think for me personally, one is more than enough, but that's just me. Other people like what they like, you know. Uh, for me, I think ball pythons are beautiful snakes. It's just, like I said, like one is more than enough for me in my collection, personally. Well, that does it, fam. I'm gonna go put him up real quick, and then I'll show you guys my Brazilian rainbow bow next. Okay, guys, for this next snake, um, like I said, she is in shed right now, so I'm not really trying to bother her too much, but I just wanted to show you guys what, you know, they look like in shed. This is the Brazilian rainbow boa. So let me show you guys real quick. So you see look how crazy that it is, right? It's like all oh, like a zombie. So I'm put her back back. Don't really wanna like I said, like I'm not trying to harass her. Okay fam, so uh, yeah, we just ran down my current collection that I have right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have any questions or, you know, comments, put them in the comments below. Um, and yeah, like that does it fam. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, keep getting our content, you can check out my snakes and all the cool things that we're gonna be doing next. Um, as obviously, I'm definitely planning on growing this collection definitely out. Not necessarily here in this place, I definitely plan on moving and doing all that fun stuff, but definitely gonna have a lot of cool other snakes adding to the collection. So, you know, it's kind of cool to grow up this now and just to kind of see how these awesome dudes grow, right? All right, cool. So until next time, fam, thanks again for watching. Black Hippie out, much love. Peace.